Hey guys, me again. I just want to do a quick video to show um, the Happy Planner Plum Planner kits, what's in them, and uh, I actually have set up a spread on each of them just to kind of show you how it could work. Um, so let's get started with the Plum Planner. So it'll look pretty sim similar to the other kits. Um, you got your weekend banner, checklist, you got this is to cover up the calendar if you want to cover it up on the sidebar or you could put it somewhere else but it's, um, it's kind of meant to fit the sidebar and then uh, deco and just like the other kits second page is just a checklist so these are the height of the lines in the plum planner so this is obviously just for vertical it can work um, but it should work in any of the vertical layouts so my friend let me borrow her, um, I believe she has the hourly vertical one, and I'll show you how it looks in that. Um, but the lines are pretty much the same in any of the vertical ones from what my math is telling me. So um, anyway, so eight full height checklists, uh, eight full height kind of deco box cover things. And then, so this sheet is to cover up the bottom um, kind of like those bottom three checklist pieces. So you can use them if you want. You could cut it up as well and use it in other places, but it's kind of meant to cover those if you want to. And then these are um, washi strips. And uh, most of my kits, the pattern will be, um, the pattern will be, um, sorry, it's really early and I have headache. <laughs> the pattern will work like side by side kind of thing. So uh, it is seam it's like a seamless pattern kind of thing. So it should kind of connect those edges in case you want to just cover up one whole big area that should work. And then we've got some little half height boxes. And then the last sheet is just like all my other ones where it's all of your headers that you can use a whole ton of different headers and some like appointment check checklists which work with the icons on the first page. So again, these are the same height as these, so you can um, you can kind of plop one of those in that spot if you want to say what the appointment or whatever is for. And then two habits. So these will fit in the sidebar, but they can also go on any page pretty much. And then some more half, half boxes. So I will just put this all back in the right order. So it's pretty similar to the vertical kits in terms of what stickers are there, but it's just sized a little better to fit um, the plum planner. So this is my friend's plum planner. Thank you for letting me borrow this. Um, so obviously I do not use a plum planner, so um, my planning style is a little bit different. Um, but I, I just tried to kind of lay things out to see, kind of show how it could look. Uh, you could do this completely differently too. You could obviously like have mix and match of where they are. I just, I personally like the layout where it's like all deco and then the checklists and then you get your little things. I think Elle Fowler kind of does her layouts like that. That's how I like it. Wasn't really sure where to put the weekend banner, but so I just threw it above personally, but you could, you could overlap it here if you weren't going to do checklist um, stuff or you could even put it down here in the washi. So you can see that this washi kind of fits those boxes perfectly. So that's really good. And then, um, like, sidebars up to you. You could do all kinds of stuff with that. So, And then you can see um, that little deco box in the front covers the calendar if you want to. Okay, so that is Plum Planner. And like I mentioned, that would fit... Um, it should fit any of the vertical ones. I'm not going to do it for horizontal. Okay, and then let's do Happy Planner. So Happy Planner, this is just for the regular Happy Planner, and it's just for the vertical because I didn't know there was a horizontal until recently. I think it's pretty new. I'm not going to support the horizontal. I'm sorry, but um, I'm not going to, like, this is it. What the heck was that? Piece of fuzz. Um, or a piece of my nail or something. Anyway, uh, these, this is it as far as planners I'm going to support because it's a lot of work to make these kits for all four sizes. But let's get into this one. So same kind of deal. Uh, you've got your weekend banner, which is size to fit happy planner. And you've got checklists. You've got some teardrops in here. You've got your two flags. You've got all of these icons. These are all the same as what's in vertical and horizontal kits already. And then the, kind of like half, half of deco. And then we've got our eight checklists. Now in this one, there's only seven um, boxes. I can't really fit eight on there because these are the full height including the headers um 
obviously you could trim them down if you didn't want them to cover the headers for any reason, but they're a little bit taller than, than the checklist. So the checklists are kind of without the header. So the idea is you put a header above it. Okay, so there's seven of them, uh, which kind of made sense to me in this case because an eighth one, there's not really room to put it unless you're putting in the sidebar, which is a little bit less wide than everything else, I believe. If my measurements were right, if I remember right. And then some half boxes. So this page, these this washi can cover the bottom. Um, I know some pages on the bottom of mine have like kind of like polka dots. So this will cover most of it up. It can't cover the entire um, width of it. You'll see when I show you the example, but that's just because I can't physically make them that wide without changing my sheet size and I can't change my sheet size. But it should cover most of it up. You could also cut this up and use it in different places if you wanted. And then, um, so this is this is all washi here and it's all cut in kind of smaller strips. So you can, um, you can cover up little pieces. I'm trying to like not ruin the sheet. I don't want to bend the sheet to get the paper off. Um, but there's a bunch of different little ones. So just so you know, when I'm setting these up, I kind of realized halfway through setting them up that I probably set it up in a weird way. So I'll explain it in this video because it is a seamless pattern. Um, and all the new kits that I'm doing is actually all going to be one pattern for this instead of two, but a couple of them have two or three patterns. But the way that they're seamless is that this is the starting one, this is the second one, this would be the third, this would be the fourth, and this would be the fifth. Um, so just keep that in mind, like if you're trying to get a seamless pattern, like say if you were covering up a whole column for whatever reason, that would be the order you would want to go in. Um, but if you're, just, um, if you're just covering up a couple of different days, it doesn't really matter which one you're using. Then more half boxes, and then just like the other ones, uh, we've got your headers, and then we've got kind of the appointment stickers, which again, you can use the icons to overlap if you want, and some more half boxes, and two hats. Okay, so without further ado, I'll show you the layout. I, now this layout I did, I like basically tried to do a no, no white space almost. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of like do a full deck example. So this is really crazy. You might not go this crazy with your stickers, but um, but this would be like you're doing the whole shebang. You're using the full decos. You're using a whole checklist. You're using a washi to cover up most of the days. So um, so I put some half boxes on top for like appointments or whatever. And then this is like a today section. And then we've got kind of little things throughout the week that you could write on obviously. And then over here in Sunday, I, I personally, I didn't have enough washi to cover all of it. So I put like a goals tab kind of thing. Um, so like maybe it's goals for next week or something like that. And then, um, and then like in the sidebar, they, they fit pretty well in the sidebar too. So. So that's kind of the examples of how they could work. Obviously, um, if you're not really big on doing these full deck kit uh, stickers, you could um, you could split this up into a couple of weeks and get more bang for your buck in terms of using the kit. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how that's kind of the example I wanted to give you. So that's really it. They are already up on the site, so you can go purchase, so feel free to go ahead and start buying. Um, I only have them available in the kits that are, have been, the kits that are already reformatted. Those kits are also available in these. So any new kits that come out will have these as well. Um, but basically that is the, the watermelon kit, the pineapple kit, um, uh, the beach kit, the ice cream kit, the coffee kit, the margarita kit, the Fall Leaves Kit, the Pumpkin Spice Kit, the Sunflower Kit, they are all available um, like this. And then, uh, and I'm kind of, I'm working my way out as I go. So I'm trying to get all of the kits reformatted. It is a very slow process. Um, I don't want to have to go on vacation to do it, but it may have to happen at some point because it is, uh, it is a very long process to get all four of them ready. And just a final note for these that I'm not going to be offering these as printable files. Um, I've been doing kind of the math and looking at it throughout the year and the sales are just not adding up to the amount of work. Like the sales on the printable files are barely even adding up to the amount, the amount of time it takes me to make them. So like throughout the entire year. So they're definitely not making a profit. They're actually just eating away at my time so I can't get new kits out. So I will not be offering printable files for the new, for these, these layouts. 
and um, to be honest, I'm actually considering dropping printable files altogether, but I'm still considering because I know there are a few people that really love them. Um, but yeah, I just I won't be uh, I won't be offering them for the Happy Planner or Plum Planner. Uh, if you're really upset about that, send me a message on Etsy. If a lot of people request it, then I would reconsider, but um, as of right now, it's just not, um, it's just, it's just not, it's not making any money. It's kind of making negative money <laughs> in terms of like the amount of work I have to do to create them versus if people are buying them. Like it's, it's ridiculous how much it's not adding up. Anyway, so I hope you guys like those kits. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I I know if you're Plum Planner Horizontal or Happy Planner, you may not really necessarily want to watch uh, my Plan With Me videos, but because I do Horizontal Erin Condren, but um, I do occasionally do other videos. I do giveaways, and um, yeah, that's really it. So hope you guys enjoy those. Be sure to take a look at the shop, and I'll see you guys next time.